grade 9 students. So, this is our first meeting for the quarter 2. So, Happy New Year to everyone. So, I hope you're doing okay. So, sana okay tayong lahat. Sana naka nairaraos pa natin ang ating pagmumodule. So, so, sit back. Makinig ng maigi dahil napakadali ng inyong first um, lesson for the second part. So, for today's vlog, ang ating pag-uusapan is all about, okay, direct variation. Ano ba ang direct variation? So, there is direct variation whenever a situation produces um, pairs of numbers in which the ratio is constant. So, in mathematical sentences, pag nabasa natin yung mga words na ito, mean, or phrases, meaning to say, direct variation ang tinutukoy. So, we have here, um, y varies directly as x, we have y is directly proportional to x or y is proportional to x. In symbol, y is equal to kx. Our k is the constant. Okay, so pag sinabi natin direct variation, ang ibig lang pong sabihin na to sa madaling sabi, sa mga simple definition, Increase sa y ay magkakos ng increase sa x. Ang decrease naman sa y ay of course magkakos ng decrease sa x kasi nga directly proportional. Halimbawa, um, in real life situation, halimbawa, the greater um, the love, di ba? The greater the pain, di ba? Mas uh, mahal mo, mas masakit. Pag iniwan ka, di ba? That is what we call direct variation. Naintindihan po. Paano natin ita-translate um, into this one yung mga given na mathematical sentence? Salimbawa, kaya to be painted in symbol A varies directly or directly proportional to the number of gallons G of paint. So, pwede natin isulat na yung area is directly proportional to G. A is equal to K G. Okay, how about if meron na problem na involved or solving? Okay, my dear students, we have here an example um, problem involving um, direct variation. Okay, so if Y varies directly as X and Y is equal to 24, when X is equal to 6, Find the constant of variation in equation of variation. So, my dear students, tingnan nyo po yung mga given variable. Kasi hindi po yan all the time, y varies directly as x. Minsan nakakabinabaliktad. Like, x varies directly as y. So, baka masanay kayong laging y and x yung nasa unahan. Okay. So, since y yung ating nasa unahan, so in symbol, y varies directly as x. Okay. Ang una natin hanapin is the constant or the k. Okay. So, para mahanap yung k, of course, we are going to substitute the value of y and x kasi yun ang ating given. So, we have here 24. We have here 6. To cancel 6, kung ano man ang katabi ng ating constant, yun ating i-divide both sides. Okay, very good. So, divide it by 6, divide it by 6. Cancel 6 and 6. We have k, 24 divided by 6, that is, okay, very good, 4. So, therefore, our constant is 4. How about the equation of variation? Equation of variation, this is very easy. Just copy our original uh, equation. We have here y is equal to kx. Papalitan lang naman natin yung constant, which is 4. So, y is equal to 4x. So, this is now the equation of Variation. As simple as that. Okay. Another example. Okay, my dear students. We have here, if y varies directly as x, and y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 1, find the constant of variation and y when x is equal to 3. Okay. 
Same procedure, y varies directly as x. We're going to write y is equal to kx. y is 2, while x is 1. So divide it by 1. So cancel, then k is equal to 2. So how are we going to find the value of y when x is equal to 3? So meron tayong 2. Um, solution na pwede yung gawin. First one, yung makikita natin sa module ninyo, gumamit tayo ng proportion, ratio and proportion. X and Y. So, we have here Y and X. So, X and Y, we have X2, Y2. So, so, yung first X natin is 1, yung first Y natin is 2. So, yung second x natin is 3, that's 1. While, the y sub 2, or yung second y natin, ay missing. So, just cross multiply y is 2, 2 times 3, that is 6. So, ibig sabihin, ang y ay 6, pag ang x ay 3. Or, bahala kayo kung alin ang mas madali. Pwede natin gamitin yung equation of the variation. Kopyahin nyo lang ito. Palitan nyo yung nakuha natin k. 2. Palitan nyo yung value ng x. 3. So, multiply. Charay! Okay. Diba? So, either of the two pwede nyo gamitin. Either the equation of variation or itong ratio and proportion. So, wala naman pong difference kung nasa y yung taas nasa x ang baba. So, wala yung diferensya. Basta parang yung kanilang ratio and proportion. So, ayan. So, pag ang given naman ay mathematical sentence or worded problem, so just analyze. Tingnan nyo kung alin ba yung ating mga given. So, thank you so much for watching. So, I hope meron kayong naintindihan. So, see you sa next lesson natin which is the indirect um, variation. So, thank you so much for watching.